Okay, let's switch gears and talk about asymmetric cryptographic algorithms. Now, recall that symmetric cryptographic algorithms all use the same key to encrypt and decrypt. Now, with asymmetric cryptographic algorithms, there are two different keys, at least. There is a public key and a private key. And typically, the scenario is where you encrypt with the public key, but then the recipient decrypts with the private key. Now, by far, the most recognized and most popular asymmetric cryptographic algorithm is the RSA algorithm. It's named after its developers. It was originally developed in 1977 by Ronald Rybust, Adi Shamir, and Leonard Adelman. That's where the RSA comes from. In fact, it's so popular that you'll probably recognize the name of a large company that is based on or spin off from the origin of this particular algorithm. This algorithm depends on the difficulty in factoring very large prime numbers. Since factoring extremely large prime numbers is quite difficult, then this gives us the security or the assurance that this is a difficult algorithm to actually break. It's not the only game in town, however. We also use and find in use the El Gamal algorithm. This was developed later in 1985 by Dr. T. El Gamal. This algorithm uses very large integers and modular arithmetic to calculate keys. So we're going to start with very large integers and he'll execute the modulo operator, which effectively takes the remainder of integer division. And those are the mechanisms that are used. So slightly different approaches between the two. But both of these algorithms are well-respected, very popular, and very secure.